Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you guys how I created this look using the Tiny Marvels palette, which restocks tomorrow, along with several other palettes. But before I get into all the palettes that are going to be restocked, the time, and of course, this tutorial, I gotta show you the cutest little critter. I was originally going to post this at the very beginning of the video and just like have it, and it was gonna be all cute and stuff, and then I thought, you know, not everybody likes bugs, not everybody likes critters. Some people could get a little freaked out by it. So I thought that I would uh, warn you before I show you, but I just really wanted to show you and I'm showing it to you now. So <laughs> you are warned. This little guy was outside of my garage as I was doing like trimming up my bushes. And I just, ah, I keep seeing little praying mantises everywhere, butterflies, all of these little critters. And I'm telling you it's more often Ever since this palette was launched, I'm telling you, I don't know what it is, but they're everywhere. And it's really, really, really cute to me. I know like bugs aren't cute to everybody, but they're really cute to me. And there was this ginormous lunar moth. Oh my gosh, I wish I had gotten it on camera because oh, it was it was huge and it was so pretty, but yeah, I didn't have my phone outside. But I have my phone for this little guy and I thought it was perfect to include into this mantis tutorial. All right, <laughs> now let's get into the information. This palette, Tiny Marvels, right here, as well as Chase Your Dreams. Both Summer Days palettes, the light version and the deep version. These are so pretty. And Autumn's Rain, this beauty, as well as the Enduring Love palette, all from Sydney Grace, all restocking tomorrow at 9 a.m. PST. Along with the palette restocks, they're also restocking some cream shadows. And uh, with that comes three of the multi-chromes. I mean, I love the cream shadows in general, but the multi-chromes are a whole nother level. And I know a lot of people have been waiting on these. <sighs> this is your time. This is your time. 9 a.m. PST tomorrow. Without further ado, let's get into the Tiny Marbles Mantis Blown Out Green Eye Look. Starting off with the refer number two and the shade Mantis. I am going to start packing this all over the lid. Same shade on a refer number three and I'm gonna take that and apply it to the lower lash line. Again, I'm still using the same shade, but this time I'm going in with the Bristles Beauty EO2 RL. I am going to start to slowly add this right above the crease for a, kind of like a transition shade, but really it's the crease shade. Sorry, I have teeth whitening strips on my teeth. So I've got like these little, ugh, I'm stumbling on my words. Anywho, I'm taking this right into the crease, right above it. I want to blow it out just a little bit, but not too much. I'm going to take another shade and go right above it. Next, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Tree Hopper on my Zoeva 227. I didn't pick up much product and I wanna take my time and just work this right around the edge of Mantis. I'm picking up a little bit and going in and picking up a little bit more, going in again and I'm holding my brush towards the end so that I'm not applying a lot of pressure. I'm using tiny little circular motions. This is just going to diffuse the edge 
and add in a little bit of color without it being too much. Bristles Beauty PO6RF in the shade Walk and Stick. I'm taking this just kind of on the outer portion of the lower lash line, bringing it up slightly, but really I just want to create a little bit of depth and a little bit of volume to my lashes, but I don't want to take this too far. I'm going to go ahead and be just a little bit extra with the shade Fire Butts. I'm taking this on another Bristles Beauty PO6RF and I'm going to apply it to the inner corner. I need a little shine. I just want a little shine today. I'm making sure to blend that into Mantis so it's not too intense, just right on this very inner corner. So I'm blending it in and then I'm going to go add on my liner and mascara. To finish off the look, you guys know the drill. I use my Milk Boss Liner on my top inner rim, a ton of mascara, and then for my lips, Sicily Nude Liner, and then Dominique Cosmetics Pretty Natural. And in case you guys didn't know, these are now sold at Beautylish. Anywho, beauties, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this Mantis blown out look. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.